Hey everybody, okay, here's my mid, I hope mid installation uh, update. Uh, I've been working on this for, this is two and a half days, two days total now, and I'll show you where I'm at. Okay, what a mess, not really. It's actually come quite quite a ways. So it's got two wiring harnesses, the, the Grand Rapids has two wiring harnesses. These are the leads I've still got to connect and everything's labeled. Um, it's labeled with both, let me show you, the connector position and what it is. So um, it's, it's easy enough to track down if need be. Um, I've cleaned up my pedo and static and I've begun the process of adding my angle of attack. Um, so it's, that's still in progress. Got the discovery put in. Obviously, it's not connected because this goes into wiring harness B on the back of the uh, Grand Rapids. And I've got the alert box for my new uh, ELT put in. I'm waiting for the battery to show up on, it, on this, and then I'll finalize that um, along with getting all the wiring done. Um, okay, let me show you inside. I mentioned the new ELT. There it is, exciting stuff. Ooh, oh, you know, all that great stuff. Here is the termination of my angle of attack. Uh, I've obviously got to run it through the wing. This is uh, just a loom I left here, a spool of wire I left here for the um, electric trim I'm, I'm going to put in. Uh, da -da. ADSB in uh, antenna is right down there, it's underneath. Uh, this is my ground plane to improve the receptions, so let's hope it works and doesn't put a hole in my fabric. Um, okay, up here, forgive all this stuff, you know, remote for the USB. So here it is, watch the, the, the glare. Um, the only thing that's really hooked up to it right now is the um, GPS antenna, which is sitting loose up here, and the OAT, uh, which is up over my head. Um, so with only that hooked up, it's, it's actually fairly, fairly functional. Um, I've already gone through and uh, programmed a lot of it, a lot of the, the mins and maxes and all that good stuff. So if you look here, so I've got, you know, some of the engine instrumentation is already set up in here. Uh, I do have, well, it's waiting for the USB. That's curious. Anyway, I'll figure that out. Um, I do have aux power to it. It's on this switch. Um, just because I had a switch, I now have this hole that just happens to line up with where the battery warning light used to be before I cut the big holes out of it, which I know I still need to put a panel there. Um, this is going to be an engine warning light. Um, uh, again, it just happened to work out that way because it was pre-labeled on the panel. Happy accidents. Um, so anyway, so next week, uh, Friday, I'll come in and, uh, finish, fin I'm sorry, I'll continue connecting sensors and things. Um, I do have to call Grand Rapids to ask them a couple questions, um, Nothing big, it's just like, hey, how do I do this? Exciting stuff, I know. Um, map, you know, it does stuff and the touch screen. Yeah, exciting stuff. Anyway, so that's my update. Um, I'll have more again, stay tuned.